What's up, man? You ready to do some painting today? I'll show you how to, uh, we're gonna roll these walls and we're gonna do the cut in and uh, go from there. How are we gonna do this? We're gonna do this the right way. Stop day two. Back in the flicker light room. <laughs> That's funny because the LED's not flickering. But that is. It's those cheap balls. Anyways, so yeah, the, the unit looks really good, man. Looks really good. Um, so now all I gotta do is the wall. I'm gonna mask off all my trim and I ran fan blower last night to uh, uh, move air to dry it everything really good so so the doors are done nice little gloss on those doors nice and pretty gloss um, so now all I have to do is cover up all my trim that trim looks like crap don't it Jeez. that looks like toop it looks like poopy but anyway so yeah cover up looks like got a little bleed through here now might have to put a coat of primer on that uh some seal coat primer on that and then repaint that but besides that man it looks really good in here uh we'll knock that stuff off and we get to roll on these walls and uh go to town it's gonna take me a little bit i have to mask everything off uh the trim wise the reason why is because i put the tape and the paper right on the edge of the trim and that becomes my drop cloth on the floor and i can run the roll right down and hit the paper and the tape and no have i don't have to cut that in uh the ceiling i will run my paper or my the same gun or the roller but i'll use masking tape along the top edge that way I can take the brush and hit it and just roll and not have to worry about being real slow about it. But it looks pretty good in here. Looks good. Smells like crap. Dude, it reeks of cigarette in here. Even, uh, I turned the heaters on a while ago because it didn't stink like this earlier. I forgot to turn the heaters on. And when I, I swung by real quick and turned the heat on and then left, took care of something and then came back and it reeks of cigarette in here. So I might end up having to take, I might have to take the covers off and do a cleaning on the grill. It's a electric strip. So, uh, yeah, cause that's gonna be, I, I don't think the boss will let me replace the heaters. She may, I'll, I'll give her a call and let her know. I'll let her know what's up. Cause it, it reeks, reeks in here. And I know it's not the AC. I can clean the AC though. The AC, I'll clean the grill, the intake, really good. Uh, the, take the cover off and clean the grill and then spray uh, de-smoke in there and that'll take care of that. I don't think I can do that with the heaters though because heat, that electric baseboard, when it gets hot, it, it's that's why it stinks so bad in here. But I'll give her a call and ask her what she wants to do with that because if I do, then I'll have to remove the heater and then I'll probably end up having to patch a wall. So I'll give her a call and see what she says. Otherwise, let's get to masking off these walls and the trim. Oh, So now I got all the trim taped off. Now I'll roll my, uh, the same machine without the paper and tape off the walls or the ceiling so that when I take the brush, I can hit it and roll with it. And I'll have to worry about getting real slow, cutting it in. Cool.
getting ready to start rolling now. Uh, brand new roller. You always want to take uh, some tape and cover it up, bro. You can get all the fuzzies off. Because otherwise you'd be fighting the fuzzes. You know what I mean? Just roll it around there. Give it a rub, rub on. And then peel it back off. And then get all the fuzz. See that? That would be in your paint. Roll it off, bro. It's not going to get a thousand percent of it off, but it, it sure freaking helps, man. So the roller, the roller's pretty cool. It only goes on one way, and then it has this black guard that, that keeps it on there. So you just slide it up. And basically it's the same thing. Hook it up to the gun um, and uh, pull the trigger. Just an FYI. This is the reason why I always mix up my paint and use a strainer. I just got this out of a five gallon bucket. Look at that. That's horrible, ain't it? This is from the other painter. He, they just kept mixing paint up. You know what I mean. It's just BS, but this is the reason why you always want to mix your paint up. I got two five gallon buckets that maybe had a gallon and a half, two gallons in each one. Put them together and uh, give them a good mix. Get them buggers out. Now I'll still strain it off into my Lowe's bucket and uh, we'll get started. You can also do it this way which is, this is my good paint, well, my paint. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up over there. Then, put this in there, and then put the strainer in, like so, and then pour the paint in. That way it sucks the paint after it's straight. Versus the straining, you know what I mean? Cool, we are good to go. So all I gotta do is prime it, prime it. I'm gonna have a little water in it, so the first off I'll go in the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? Or roll padding or something, but it's got a little water in there, not much. So let's get it primed up. setting you want to kick it all the way down it, it has a, uh, not a part of the knob that says roller it takes a little while to get the air out Get the gotta get the excess air and water out of it for me. <laughs> so man, that is freaking bad. Bone boy. Wow, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, man. That's a pretty cool tool, man. Just a minute. I didn't have to double roll. So let's get it on, bro.
one hour to paint this whole freaking apartment. Check this out too. Top of my baseboards. I didn't cover them because I thought the boss were probably going to replace them. No paint on there. Well, I hit it right there, but look at my trim or my paper. There's no flake off. I'm freaking amazed, man. Had I known how good this was, I would have taped off my trim. I would have taped that off. Because I did over here, I taped this off and then I hit it with the roller. Looks like my tape is ripping. But look at that. I was able to get right up on that door. Same thing over here. I was able to get right up on it. Of course, I had to cut it in, but it's still wet, of course. Oh, I missed a spot. But yeah, this is uh, amazing, man. It's amazing, man, how quick I was able to roll this and not get splatter, not get crap all over the place. You know what I mean? Because normally I'll get splatter all over my drop, my uh, paper. I'll have it, you know, sprinkles. Man, that thing is worth its weight in gold, bro. So it's 1140. Well, it took me an hour, hour to paint this part. Of course, hey, you know, there's a lot of stuff that has to be cleaned up, you know, like this over here. That's got to be fixed. I don't like that. That looks like crap. Um, that piece of trim there has to be replaced. The bathroom, I did paint the bathroom, but I didn't do a full paint. You know what I'm saying? I just hit where I could and went on. The rest of this is all with the little roller. Amazed on how good a job this did. It's worth the money, bro. If you do any kind of painting, invest $100. Well, it's all together, I think I spent $400 for the roller, uh, the the sprayer, the extra extension, stuff like that. So, yeah, it's it's worth its weight, man. I'm gonna go roll that, put a bag on the roller, and go to lunch. Oh yeah, I don't have paint all over me. And you saw me pour that paint in that bucket. I had about three, maybe three and a quarter, half gallon of paint. I still got a gallon of paint. So we rolled all of that and barely used two gallons of paint. That's pretty freaking good, man. That's that's pretty good. Because my painter, anyways, <laughs> talk not nice, or talk nice about people, man. You gotta stop doing that, talking crap about people. Anyways, good lunch. Um, it's a little thin right here. And this wall is striped. It's a little thin. So I can do a second coat of paint on the bedroom area with no problem whatsoever. Cause I didn't clean the roller out. Just in case, you know what I'm saying? So we'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna pull those blinds down cause neither one of them work anyways. Pull blinds down and uh, roll the bedroom again and roll that wall again. Yep, we'll do that. I'll do that real quick and then I'll cut in. I'll show you how I cut in.
touch. That last little part you just saw, there's no tape on that. No tape. But I taught myself over the years how to cut in with an extension pole on an adapter without tape. It's kind of like the old Chinese, uh, the Chinese people used to practice with that freaking pole with the they had a pole with all the arms sticking out and they would pow, 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 you know what I'm saying? A stationary pole and they beat on it until they hardened their arms and their knuckles and their legs and stuff like that. So that when they went to battle, they whoop you all, they whoop your butt because they've been playing with that dead tree. Been beating the crap out of that tree. That's why stuff like that doesn't scare me because I've already taught myself how to do it without the tape on there. So I'm just saying the only point behind that was to say that if you train yourself the hard way, how to do it the hard way, like plumbing, if you train yourself on how to solder, everything else is easy peasy, bro. You think, man, this is cheating. You know what I'm saying? Drywall. Teach yourself how to do it the hard way. And then everything else is easy peasy. tape off the ceiling and then you cut it in don't let that paint dry if you do you might end up with a run mark or a um, you go to pull the tape off and it'll take the paint right with it so Yeah, the paint still has to cure up for the cut in, so it may have thin spots. The whole point in having that tape up there is so I don't get paint on the ceiling. And I only really only care about that last quarter inch. The cut in, that's all I care about. The rest of it, I can always go back and touch it up. Cool. Let's go pull tape, bro. So I got all the tape pulled off. There's a couple spots, you know, where the tape wasn't right or whatever. I don't care because I can always go back and just real lightly cut it in. No problem. Right now I'm just taking a break. Back's tightening up. So what I'm gonna do now is just go back and <clears throat> finish up cutting in. That's really it. Um, and that's painted. I got a couple wall spots I need to work on. Um, that's, that's about it. Um, I don't have my watch on me. I don't know what time it is. Let me see what time it is. Just be curious. It's 3 o'clock. Minus a lunch. Going to Lowe's. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. I, I painted this this entire apartment. Uh, <clears throat> I probably got, if you total in yesterday, which was just spray, um, the doors and the ceilings and stuff. I probably got eight hours wrapped up in the whole job so far. And uh, I'm going to see if I, what I can do about those baseboard heaters, see if I can clean those. I don't know. I did send the boss, I talked to the box boss about it earlier. I told her we probably, we're going to have to replace some heaters because of, uh, I'll never get, you'll never get that soak, smoke odor out, you know. First time a tenant lights them heaters up, man, it'll it'll stink, it'll reek in there. It reeks. That freaking reek. That smelt worse than a wet ashtray. You know what I'm saying? 
anyways <laughs> it's all good man I'll finish this up cutting in and uh, get the sprayer cleaned up and stuff and call it a day cool hope you enjoyed it I know it's not a lot you know but I'm sure you learned something about painting the easier way to do it and you know what's really funny I just now was paying attention I don't have flakels all over me I usually get that from rolling you'll get flakes all, out all over you and all over everything I got a little flake on my earbuds that's from spraying yesterday <laughs> anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you don't I don't care <laughs> I'm just joking man <laughs> anyways on to the next thing you wanna praise God